Erev Tov, I'm Stephen Benun. You are watching Israeli News Live. Uh, uh, as I speak right now in Baltimore, Maryland, there is a lot of rioting going on between uh, uh, the community there and the police department uh, and their riot forces there. This is after the funeral of Freddie Gray. Uh, Freddie Gray, was, uh, who died in police custody on April the 19th during, uh, during the standoff, which is quickly... Uh, it is escalating. The tensions are escalating there. He was buried today. Uh, there is a mall there in Baltimore, Maryland, uh, outside of the city there where the rioting has begun. Uh, not only are rocks being thrown in bottle and the police have been macing the people thus far, the police are in heavy, heavy riot gear out there uh, facing the public there that is very uh, upset over this situation. Uh, police cars are being smashed and just totaled and... Uh, uh, there are several different news agencies that are reporting it. RT News is also uh, reporting this story already, uh, as well as Mashable, another news agency that we've actually been able to see some of the footage from this on. Uh, again, uh, violence has broke out in the United States, rioting uh, between the, uh, the black community there over the death of Freddie Gray and the police officers that are there. Uh, one can only speculate and wonder if this will end up spilling over into other cities. It seems that Jade Helm is something that's going on in the United States, something they're pre preparing for, for um, uh, martial law, uh, of course, practicing for martial law, civil unrest throughout the United States, supposedly drills. Uh, many different news agencies are, are reporting that this is not going to really be a drill, but actually real life exercises. And uh, this is just a type of event that could spiral out of control and go across the United States in acting martial law. It would be a very serious situation nonetheless and very unsafe for the American public as well. So uh, again, we're just reporting this to, to bring this to your attention. I know you guys in the United States will see a lot more of this yourselves or if you're not already seeing it on uh, television there as far as the different news agencies there. Uh, but just encourage you to keep a close eye out on it and events that could spiral out of control in your own neighborhoods. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom. Good evening.